This is a clear indication that I've been doing YouTube for too long. Here is my monopod. It's branded Naraza. I got a little problem here. There's this little washer thing. And you see how knackered and misshapen it is? Yeah. Um, what happened was this washer belongs on top of it. And over the years, it, it was stuck down. I peeled it off. Over the years, it just got thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. I've had this monopod forever. I use it on the camera all the time. You can see all the paint chips and everything. The cat chewed the end of it. It's beat up. But it works. It's all good. I don't care what it looks like. You know, because I grab it like here, so that's that. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is, over the years, like I said, that washer grew thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. And as it did that, it allowed more and more of the threads at the end to go into the camera. Until one day, it didn't. So let me show you. I have something on here I'm going to show you a little later, and I'll leave that other piece. So here's the camera. Okay, now, I'm recording this on the phone because I'm using, showing you the camera, so, you know. Over here is the tripod screw. Do you see the little line that's there? That's a crack, and there's a second one. It's just, I can't see the angle on the phone with it tipped down like this, so it's it's hard. I think there is another one somewhere there under that. But basically, it's stripped out because it cracked, and that was the end of it. I experimented with a couple of different things, and there was nothing, in fact... If you take a close look, you should be able to see the kind of wear mark on the camera from where the monopod used to sit over the years, because I take it on and off there a lot. Well, anyway, that broke out, and I couldn't keep it on the monopod, so really all it would be good for is just hand-holding it, and that's not my style. There is another hole in the camera where you see this gadget here, and that is a locating hole for a locating pin such as in a quick-release uh, plate for a tripod. So there's your tripod screw. I'll be referring to that. Standard tripod screw is quarter-inch by 20. I'm just going to call it a quarter-20. And basically all it means is quarter-inch diameter, 20 threads per inch. So if you had a bolt that long, it would have 20 threads Per inch so quarter 20 and that's it doesn't matter that it's not an inch long but that is the thread pitch there and the locating pin sort of locks the camera onto this plate well this cheap tripod it just it the plate wouldn't sit nice with it located so I'd always put the pin off to the side so I didn't use it anyway it wasn't a big deal I had if you look close here this metal thing, ignore the black thing for a moment, and that's quarter 20 by quarter 20, male on each end. That seemed to screw in, and that worked for three times, and that stripped out. So that was it. So I said, well, there's nothing I can do at this point. I can glue something on the bottom that'll have a quarter 20 thread, and then I can put it in that way, but that's kind of hokey, and what if it breaks off while I'm in the middle of recording? So, I decided to do something you're not supposed to do, and I used this thing in the locator pin hole. However, that hole is not threaded. Being that this has kind of sharp threads on it, I was able to screw it in, that's not the way to do this. The correct way to do it is to use a tap and die set, and I don't have one. But I had this adapter 
So I did that. Another thing along the way that was important is I said, well, if the washer on the monopod failed, uh, I could put something new on there. And I tried various different things, a couple different O-rings of different sizes and stuff like that. Nothing would work. And it turns out that you have to get just the right thickness because if you look at this closely, see how long that is? Just the threaded part, not the rest. And the washer that was on here was taking up the bulk of that space there, so it could only screw down so far into the camera. So what happened over the years of my owning this is that washer finally became thin enough that when I put this back on, I over-tightened it, and that's what cracked it. So that's how it happened. So now I need a way to fix it. The obvious way to fix it is to, come on, Jay, what's this 720p shit? Throw your fucking piece of shit out and get a 4K camera. Sure, pay for it. Uh, what? Oh, you're not? Oh, all right. Well, in that case, tough shit. I tried a myriad of different things. Here was a prototype. This was from the little peel and stick bumpers you can put on stuff. This is the backing for it. So that was a prototype. It's square, yes. And it kind of worked, but not really. I have another one here. Same idea. This is a little bit thinner. And there was another one, and that got the camera to actually work in the tripod hole, but not well. So I experimented with different things I found laying around. And one of which was that black thing, which is another one of those peel and stick bumpers. I don't know if you can see, but there's sort of like an adhesive looking yellowish stuff on the back. And that seemed to have stuck it down good. I used a drill bit and actually drilled through it just by hand turning the bit. It's very, very soft material. And this material is nice and squishy also, which I thought would be a plus. But it turns out that even wasn't sufficient as a proper washer type thing for this. They sell replacements for it, and I could buy them. They're there. They also sell what's called a fender washer, which I hear works just as good. But I didn't buy any of those either, and I don't have any of them. But I found this. I don't know what it's from. It's rubbery, silicone-y something. Same story, took a drill bit. I just did this all freehand. I didn't measure it and mark the center. I just drilled through it. And the bit I used happened to be just the right size that I can put it on there and then screw it on. And it will seat right in there, leaving just that. That's perfect. That takes up the gap perfectly. It stays because it stays captive on the threads like that. So that's handy. Except that doesn't work. So I said, well, I'm going to have to buy something. And that's what I bought. Quarter 20 female adapter. This screws on. It squishes that rubbery piece there, which I think is more of a foam. And now the monopod screws up nice. The washer gives it some grip, but slip. In other words, it grips it, but when I go to release it, we don't have two pieces of metal locked together because there's a buffer there. So I gained, what, about an inch or so? And there it is, nice and solid once again. No problem. The one drawback is that I cannot any longer set the camera down because it's going to go crooked. And sitting on this piece, it might. We'll screw that back, but I think it's off center. It's just lopsided. It's not going to... So I can't put the camera like I used to. 
but it beats buying a new camera. I also experimented with other things before I did this, and I'm going to explain a little bit more about that in a second. I had this ball mount from one of the Made in China products, and I said, well, the monopod will screw in there real nice, especially with the new washer. That's a beautiful fit right there. And this is nice because I can screw that into the camera, and then this acts as like a backing. You see how it'll back up the threads like that, and the little cork pad will lock it against the camera. Well, it works great if the damn threads on the camera weren't stripped out <laughs> because of my over-tightening it over the years. And that is just from wear and use, and it ended up damaging my camera. So a little five cent washer is what did the camera in. Like I said, this is not the right way to do this. The proper way is to buy a new camera. If you want to try to fix it, like I said, I had this adapter, quarter 20, quarter 20 male at each end. They're a few dollars, five bucks or so. You can get yourself a pack of these on Amazon. Same for this. It was like five or six bucks. I got a two pack of these. And I just took that. If you see, there's like a knurled part there. And I just screwed it. And I did it a few times just to make sure I was straight. And it's not perfectly, perfectly straight, but it's pretty close. It's pretty close. And then once I had it where I wanted it, I took a pair of pliers and grabbed that and gave it maybe another half turn. So now the sharp threads on this have bitten into the virgin plastic there, and it's now stuck in there. And if I screw this down nice and tight to that, which is not going anywhere, then the monopod will screw back on, and I'm good. I can use it. It won't slip around. It won't fall off. And when I release it, it stays exactly as it should be, ready for that, ready for anything else, such as the little mini tripod I have the phone on, my big tripod. So let's try that out. I haven't actually tried this yet. So we'll screw that down and see how it fits. Okay, it works. Ooh, that's turning the whole thing. I want to be careful about that, but it's it's there. It's it's workable. I can angle the tripod as I need, and it's it's hokey. Will it stand on? The, oh, it actually will. All right, that's something to keep in mind. So that's good. And um, it also will fit my other tripod which now it's too tight. <clears throat> this is the one, th these are like the little teething issues I have now because now that's screwed too tight to that. <sighs> and I'm gonna need a tool to actually fix that. So hold on. So now with this little shitty tripod that I use down here a lot, I can go ahead and screw that on. There we go, and that's perfect. Yes, the tripod is wiggly like that. I just wait for it to stop wiggling and I'm good. But there you go, camera's mounted once again. It's on there. I can tip this if I need by doing that. You know, so I can still use the camera as I used to, just with this little extension piece always on there. There we are. Now, in the event I actually had a tap and die, I could tap threads in there and get it cleaned out nice so that would actually screw in and would, it would work. The only difference now with it on there is the center of gravity is a little different because of where it is. It's moved forward uh, a half inch or so. So it's a little more imbalanced for me, but it beats the hell out of replacing an otherwise working camera. So that was my fix. 
It's not elegant, but it doesn't need to be because when I record with this camera, you're not going to see that. <laughs> so that's it. It just sort of works. It's there, and I'm just going to leave it permanently attached because I really don't have any other choice. But that's it. The camera rig has been repaired, and being that um, this is removable, it will work with all of the rest of my rigs because the camera originally had quarter 20 female thread over there. Now it's just extended out, you know, an inch or so. So it'll work with all of my rigs, all of my tripods, everything else as you would expect it to. So not bad. It required some hunting around for the right materials to use. I'm not thrilled with this and unfortunately I don't have another one of these things. I have something similar right here, which is clear, similar material that would probably work, but um, I want to, you know, I, I like to do everything as least invasively as possible, which is why I didn't go and screw that down even further. I want it to fall out then I'll put it back in the threads and give it another little twist there and get it, you know, and eventually that's going to break and then, you know, I'm going to have to glue something like epoxy this thing to the bottom of the camera. But it is, if I had to, removable. It is removable by using a pair of pliers so it'll sit flat, but that's not something that I'm going to be doing. So it just won't sit flat on a table or... I could use a little tripod stand, but it's still going to sit that high off. It is what it is. Shit breaks. This camera's gotten a lot of use. It's well-worn, but it still works fine. This thing has seen even more use because, like I said, I've been using this for about 10 years now. And it's still, I mean, there's nothing else to really break on it. These could break, but... It's rare I use the monopod as a monopod. Anyway, my cheap is free, almost cheap is free, because I had to buy these quarter 20 adapters. But like I said, not a bad idea to actually have. You can get the male version and the female version and end up making a hokey riser if you wanted. Also, my microphone rig over here with the light, The camera will still mount on that. In fact, we could do that right now before we go. So that's mounted. And then I can do my monopod in here, as usual. And there's the rig. So it's all good again. Just sits a little higher. I'll deal with it. For six bucks versus the cost of a new camera, you want 4K, you could pay for it. I'll do it, but, you know, you're going to have to pay for it because it ain't going to be me. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'm glad I'm back in business now because that was really a bummer when that broke. But anyway, we're all back together, ready to go for many more videos until this camera calls it quits, and then I'll have to see about sourcing a replacement. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.